mercy and peace may be multiplied unto you. This is Apostle Elliot, and I want to take a moment of time to do a brief teaching of Revelation and the foundation regarding one of the prophet's names of the Old Testament. And the prophet that I'm referring to is Isaiah. Isaiah. What does the name Isaiah mean? Now, uh, I will say that one of the first references, and not only, but one of the first references of his name we find in 2 Kings chapter 19, verse 2. Uh, and uh, in that, when we look at pretty much the second half of the verse, it says, To Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, one that declares judgment of the Lord God must come in order for his salvation to manifest. Uh, so um, we began to, to see not only this prophet's name being identified, but now we have to get into what is it about this prophet's name that really gives the essence of its significance. And when we began to look at it, it's actually two words in the Hebrew, Yashaya, Yashaya. Yasha, Y-E-S-H-A, and Yah. And um, when we look at Yasha, it means he who uh, has been saved or he who has been delivered. It also means to be open or to be uh, made wide or to be freed. It also means to get victory or preservation, uh, to be sustained, to, to, to be uh, uh, perpetuated. Uh, now, the second half of the name, Yah, as we understand from the Hebraic culture, is nothing more than the name of the Lord. Uh, a short variation of what we would say, Yahweh or Yahuwah which means the existing and eternal one. So when we put Yashaya together, we get um, Yahuwah has saved, Yahweh has saved, or, or Yah has saved, or to be saved by the Lord, or to be saved by Yahweh. So the name of the prophet is about salvation. The name of the prophet is about preservation. The name of the prophet is about being liberated. And in that, what we come to find out and what's very significant with the majority, if not all of the Old Testament prophets and their names, it is not only what they prophesied, but what they experience in their journey that makes their identity become significant to the character of not only who they are, but to the word that they have been uh, assigned to prophesy or to declare. So, so in that, then we begin to look and understand it because kind of like uh, the prophet Moses of the Old Testament, uh, the Lord raised him up from among the midst of the people. The Lord God says, I heard the cry of my people and he brought a prophet from the midst of that cry. So in the same turn, what we what we can understand, uh, something that's very profound about the prophets and their specific names is due to the fact that one, they've experienced what they're prophesying. So number two, what they prophesy has weight to it because it yokes itself to their identity or their character uh, in order for them to be valid as the mouthpiece for the Lord that is declaring a word unto his people. So, so in that, I just want to bring that to your attention about this specific, specific prophet, excuse me, uh, Yasha Yah, which we say Isaiah Yah, uh, and his name as to the character that it identifies with, Yehovah has saved, or Yehovah brings salvation or deliverance. Yehovah brings the escape. Yehovah brings uh, uh, the preservation. Yahweh or Yehovah is the one who has opened us up from bondage and now brought us into a place of being free and being open as a conduit for his use. So in saying that, I pray this has been a profound word of revelation of teaching 
inspiration for you uh, in this specific setting as you continue in your divine destiny towards the Lord God through Christ Jesus and Christ Jesus alone. And with that being said, amen, 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 and blessings be unto you.